uh, students and parents probably know that we have a five week residential summer semester. And this year it will begin Sunday, June 27th with an orientation for students and parents. And then on the Monday classes begin uh, and they'll run for five weeks, Monday through Friday. And, and in the evenings as well, beginning the second week of the five week semester. We'll talk further about that. And what you have here, I guess, is the total cost for the summer experience, uh, which I think is reasonable, given that you uh, are living on campus in the dorm for five weeks, have uh, unlimited access to all the resources, including the chow hall, which means that you can eat as much as you want as you need. And of course, the instruction. Here's the actual summer curriculum for 2021. Six credits will be earned, provided you pass all your classes. And I would say, my, from my experience, 90 to 95 to 98% of our students do well in the summer semester. They earn the six credits. One of the classes that you'll take in the summer and the fall uh, is Bridges Writing and Analysis which is the first semester of freshman English. And it is a three credit course. Uh, it has a co-requisite, which is a writing and analysis seminar uh, that in the summer will meet twice a week. And there is also an evening writing clinic associated with this writing and analysis class. And that's great because you have three opportunities to work on the three to four three to seven or eight page research papers that you'll be writing in writing and analysis. As well as get whatever assistance that you'll need in terms of grammar and punctuation and sentence structure, et cetera, that you will need in order to write these papers. Now, if you have attended or are attending a high school with a strong writing program, uh, you certainly have, a, and you have been participating in that writing program. Uh, well, then you'll be in good stead. If not, well, it's going to take a lot of work here because this is one of the most demanding classes. Unfortunately, many of our high schools don't expect students to really do much writing. And once again, you'll be writing three to four papers in the summer and more in the fall. Uh, Bridges. This word bridges here, you'll see it before maybe seven, eight, nine of our classes. Uh, bridges is a metaphor that the university is now using to signify how our courses, core courses they used to call them, courses which all freshman students must take regardless of their major, just like a bridge, will link them to their major. So they changed up the metaphor to uh, come up with one that is uh, perhaps more visual, an actual bridge. And of course, as we know, Pittsburgh is the city of bridges. Perhaps more bridges here in Pittsburgh than any other city in the US. This research and info skills class, one credit, I think that meets up three days a week during the summer. And it's a course that acquaints students with the online Gumberg Library based electronic resources that will enable them to do the research for the various papers that they'll be writing as a college student. So uh, this is a first exposure and it's all online. There's no textbook, everything is online uh, that you will be delving into the world of electronic research. Now you'll also be required to be familiar with uh, actual books as well, hard copy, and being able to help it, uh, knowing how to access those from the Gumberg Library as well. So both e electronic and old fashioned print will be uh, the topics of research discussion. Now there's a lab that's also associated with this particular course, and that will be meeting uh, in evenings perhaps starting the second week of the five week summer semester from seven to 9 p.m., maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays. The writing clinic will be meeting also, so uh, 
Mondays through Thursday, I think. No, no, maybe Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday. So it's important to appreciate that you will be required to engage Monday through Thursday in evening workshops, clinics, a writing clinic, and this information skills lab, both supporting classes. Uh, division requirement, strategies for academic success, uh, one credit, and it is elective, which means it can be transferred to any major here at the university. Now, no junk courses in the Gus and Spiritin division. All the courses that are offered are applicable to every major, um, and particularly those bridge courses. The strategies for academic success, I have been told by students, is probably the most beneficial class. They take summer semester because what it does is provide students with very specific strategies, techniques, and practices for increasing their reading skills, uh, comprehension and recall, their test taking skills, their test prep skills, their note taking skills, uh, their academic motivation, which is critical to this whole process. This is the course where you explore these topic areas, and it's the course that will prepare you for that 3.5 Dean's List status that Dr. Griggs mentioned. And we'll be looking at some of those uh, uh, 3.5 Dean's List achieving GSD students at the end of my presentation. Another division requirement is introduction to university success, also a one credit elective. And here we have our six. Uh, intro to university success, uh, provide students with an understanding and appreciation for campus resources, the physical layout. It's a class where you have an opportunity to interact with college administrators from the various offices here on campus that serve students, et cetera. Fall and spring curriculum, 25 credits. As you can see there, these are all bridge, bridge courses, bridges, uh, which once again means that these are courses that every student at the university, regardless of their major, must take and pass before they receive their degree. So it's very basic. Writing and literature, this is the second half of your two semester freshman writing experience. Here, the focus is on writing and literature. Uh, so it's an opportunity to get greater skills into processing novels, short stories, poetry, maybe plays, uh, maybe even film. Uh, exploring intercultural communications. Uh, it's a course that allows students to gain greater insight and appreciation for the enormous and wonderful cultural diversity, be it ethnic or racial or gender, that characterizes this nation. And that has always characterized this nation. The US has always been an intercultural, multicultural multi experience. But only recently have we in education and throughout society have come to recognize how wonderful this is, that the US is so diverse, and the fact that we've got to be able to work across cultural lines if the US is going to remain the superpower that it is, both politically and economically. So being an, an intercultural person, understanding how to interact with people from different cultures is critical to the 21st century American workplace. Public speaking, uh, that's obvious. Uh, here you learn, you deliver maybe three, four speeches fall semester in the, in the class. Uh, maybe one to three minutes each. And uh, here, obviously, the focus is on developing the skills as well as the uh, techniques for crafting, convincing, and, and hopefully eloquent public, speaks, public speeches. Basic philosophical questions is probably the most difficult course, so students believe, in our fall spring uh, curriculum. And it's... Um, it's a course where one takes a look at the writings and thought of Western philosophers, beginning with Plato and Socrates, maybe some Aristotle, uh, 
maybe some Father Aquinas, uh, certainly some Kant and some Hume, uh, some Descartes, these are all major Western philosophers that I'm running off here, that you have an opportunity to explore their writings and their thought in this particular course. It's a very reading intensive course, it's not easy. Uh, you really gotta be able to focus, want to focus on a particular person's thought and how they construct their thought, biblical and historical perspectives. Here, the, the uh, attempt is made to look at the, the Bible from a Catholic perspective, that the Catholic Bible will be used. The intent here is simply to familiarize. Uh, it's not a, about converting or convincing uh, anyone to any particular faith system. It's an opportunity to simply explore and examine one particular faith system. And that would be from the Catholic perspective. Field observation, uh, 207 and 208, fall and spring, uh, is an opportunity to acquire what at the university is known as service learning skills and capabilities. In this case, the field observation training would be focused of, upon being a tutor, uh, he, either here on campus or perhaps off campus, a tutor for elementary, middle school, and possibly some high school students, okay? So field, observa field observation 207 gives you the theory, the tutoring theory, and field observation 208, you actually do the tutoring. So you actually get the practice, which we have learned in 207. Uh, these major course selections, um, six credits, uh, Certainly spring semester and possibly fall semester, uh, Ms. Bush, who's coming on soon, can clarify that. Students are allowed to take two courses in their major. If you're a business major, you may want to take a couple of business courses along with the, the GSD curriculum. So that's the, where the uh, major course selections, these two courses come from. Uh, I want to put a human face on this notion of academic excellence and share with our new prospective GSD students that high level academic attainment is possible for GSD students. Here we have students from our fall 20 cohort who fall semester after they completed the summer semester, who fall semester and finished a 3.5 or better, 3.5, that's a B plus average. And that, from what I was told from the research I've done, is a feat only attained uh, any given semester by no more than 15 to 20% of the entire student population. So attaining Dean's List status is certainly a feather in your cap. Uh, it makes it much, much easier if you are a regular Dean's List attainee to get the internships, to fancy up, beef up, superstar your, your resume. Uh, what that Dean's List status signifies is that you are among the intellectual elite at the university. So it's something worth striving for. And here we have students who past fall achieve this, this lofty goal. Good morning, everyone. So as um, Dr. Hotep was explaining the um, summer fall curriculum, you guys will be with us for a total of three semesters. So at that point, sometime in April, I will be having a seminar with you guys to help you navigate through the internal transfer process into one of these eight schools of your choices. Now, most schools um, are accepting internal transfer students. Um, with the exception of maybe a couple majors within the Wrangell School of Health Sciences, which I think is just a physician assistance program, they do not um, accept uh, internal or external transfer students. And that's because it's a professional school and there's limited um, capacity within that major. But the other schools of choices that you see before you, you can uh, transfer into those schools as long as you meet the QPA requirement the entrance requirement into the school, and you have fulfilled the spirit and division curriculum, then you will be eligible to transfer for fall 
of that um, upcoming year. So for you guys, that would be fall of 22. Um, and then in some instances, and you know, this is rare, students do have the options to stay with the Spirit and Division for the second year. And we do get a good number of students who want to do that because they do like the support services we provide and they like that uh, opportunity that we give them. And then there may be some students that just kind of stay because they have not met all the requirements um, to get into the school. So they may not have still taken the math or the science they need to get into the schools to meet that um, entrance requirement. Ms. Bush. Yes. There is a chat question uh, from one of the students. What are the majors for the health science school that takes transfer? Um, occupational therapy, speech language therapy, athletic training. Um, let's see what else is over there. Um, health management systems. Most of our students within the Spiritan Division, they tend to go towards the athletic training program and then the um, health management systems programs. And the health management systems is a combination of your IT classes and your business curriculum. 